a matter of safety. The San Diego Police Officers Association is sounding the alarm after another string of violent crimes this weekend. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Derek Stahl. From officers beaten in the gas lamp to a dangerous hostage situation to a series of stabbings and shootings, the police union says recent events this month offer mounting proof we need more officers. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill spoke to a law enforcement expert who says that demand won't be enough. Ryan's live downtown in San Diego with some new insight we're getting. Yeah, that's right. That expert says the need for more officers is there for them to be out on the street. But he also says that this isn't the only silver bullet when tackling this problem. The San Diego Police Officers Association tweeting out concerns after another weekend of violent crime in the county. I think that even without that tweet, I certainly hear people talking about it all the time. From stabbings to shootings, some are calling for more officers in the streets. I definitely think it's a valid point, and I think that they, you know, that it actually calls attention to what is re really happening right now. Kevin LaChapelle is a former El Cajon police officer and current criminal justice professor. He says although it's important to pay close attention to this type of activity. I don't think there's any way anyone reasonably could look at this and say, oh, I don't really think there's an increase in these things. The president of the Police Officers Association says that some of these violent incidences have happened in city parks. In a statement, he says in part, quote, parks should be safe for families and with low police staffing, they have become war zones, adding that more officers are needed to prevent these shootings and stabbings from happening. You have to see those things just recently. You know, I think that it, it does um, require more, but not just more officers, more partnership with the community uh, because there has to be that partnership. Police can't do it alone. We did reach out to the San Diego Police Department for comment regarding the Police Officers Association's tweet, but we have not heard back from them at this time. Reporting live here in downtown San Diego, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.